Hapa tuko na shida wa nyama. Na iko mnyama mmoja anaitwa bwana Chui. Abaya ametusumbua sana. Inatumalisia mbusi, mchana na uziku. African leopard suffers in conservation because there's a lack of knowledge. There's been really a lack of scientific research on leopard. We don't even know how many African leopard there are uh, currently, and we don't know what the trend is. We only have estimations. So our goal here at San Diego Zoo Global in northern Kenya over the next number of years is to try to understand how many leopard there are and what the status is. Are they increasing? Are they stable? Are they decreasing? and how that influences conflict in the local communities. So we're looking at a number of different questions. One of the questions that we're interested in is the number of leopards that live here in Ampala and here at Loisaba, as well as their distribution, and which of those leopards end up getting into conflict. When we look at threats to leopards, one of the principal threats is retaliatory killings. This occurs when a leopard goes into the community, kills a goat or sheep, and then the community will send out hunters to kill the leopard. So we're going into communities, we're interviewing, people, we're trying to understand when conflict occurs, where it occurs, and how we can best mitigate that conflict. So this project was actually born out of another project that we do here on Reticulated Giraffe. One of the aspects of what San Diego Zoo Global does is we go into the communities to uh, talk to the local people about the animals that they live with. One of the questions we asked the local community was what are your favorite animals and what are your least favorite animals? And the top of that list was leopard. And this is where this project really got born out of was this conflict that was going on between leopards and the communities. The reason that we started with cameras is cameras provide us with a really good baseline estimate for how many leopards there are and where they're, where they're living, the types of habitats that you choose to be in. And so we use these cameras to identify individuals, identify the types of habitat they like to be in, and then through that information we can start to assess trends in population and distribution over time and how that may influence conflict in the local communities. The challenge is, is uh, trying to find a good place to set a camera. And so there's a lot of trial and error with that because we are trying to get a very elusive animal to end up in front of our cameras long enough so we can get that individual ID. So that's been one of the major challenges and we've actually had quite a bit of success of getting leopards on our cameras. So we're, we're meeting that challenge and we're learning a lot about the landscape as we go. We collaborate with a number of partners on the ground. These include Impala Conservancy, uh, Lysaba Conservancy, the Nature Conservancy, Northern Rangelands Trust, and the Kenyan Wildlife Service, along with county and national governments. It's really important that we collaborate with all of these partners at once because we want to try to come up with the best conservation solution for leopard, which goes beyond just understanding the animal, but also conserving the landscape in which that animal lives. <laughs>